Okay, so on today I was doing a little bit of front squats. So body weight just under 84 kilograms. Uh, today I had quite a big lunch. Um, got some salmon stuff and had some crisps and some chocolate. Generally all not good stuff. Also had a couple of apples and bananas. That was good for me. Um, oh yeah, so here, uh, no hands, front squats, couple, I, I hit the bar as I was going down, so A, I know I'm going down low enough, um, but uh, it's slightly knocking it off balance when I hit the actual bar, so I've got to, I've got to make sure I only go down like a centimetre above it. Doing fronts, backs and no hands uh, front squats as well um, to kind of mix it all up. Uh, it really is interesting seeing the, the kind of difference in strength between front and back squats. Now the thing is, if you're doing a front squat, no hands, there's absolutely no way of cheating. It's like the exercise to do which cannot be done wrongly. I just, you, cause like, if you do it in any way wrong, you're gonna drop the bar or you're not gonna be able to get up. Um, so I, I kind of think that this is the number one exercise for doing squats, for doing it absolutely correctly. Um, so here, what did I say? I said uh, 72 or something. Uh, and I'm trying to make sure that I get proper depth. Uh, really trying to get it right down, keeping my elbows up, chest up, uh, shoulders up and everything like that. And here I'm just, uh, this is still kind of my warm up. So I'm going from here straight into doing uh, back squats. And uh, honestly, whenever you pick it up in a back squat after doing a front squat, it feels so light. Um, and look, I'm, I'm going to jump onto my toes there. I didn't realize it was, it was so different. Um, okay, so. 82 kilograms. Uh, you'll notice on my feet I'm wearing my Vibram five finger shoes, uh, so I don't need, uh, so I'm not doing it in my bare feet, but that's effectively bare feet. Now here, did I get that deep enough? Did I go for two reps? I think I went for two reps. Let's see. One more. Oh, was that deep enough? I don't know, but whoa, it definitely it really works your shoulders when we're doing that as well, because you're having to keep your whole arms up. Uh, up high and uh, it, there's a lot of weight on the fronts, on your front delts as it were. And then going into back, I think I just did a couple of reps here just to keep it going. But I, I like straight away back squats. 90. 90. Uh, back squats don't have as much quality to them as front squats, so 90 kilograms. Is that deep enough? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that was my PB last time of no hands front squats. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna try and beat that, but I need to check if I got deep enough. Uh, so here again, 90 back squat, just normal. Yeah, that's good, good depth there. Happy with that. But front squat. 92. 92, kil this is a PB here, if I get it. 92 and no hands, arms up, bending. Up and slow up, but got it. I need to look at that slower. Let's see how slow this is in slow motion. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's a definite. Yeah, that was look at that slow mo. I've got cool elbows stood up nice and high the whole way through, but depth wise, I'm counting that absolutely. So that is a PB today with 92 kilograms for front squat, no hands or belt for that matter. Um, so it's pretty happy with that, and also going to do a couple back squats with that. I think it's just, I think it's just one. I'm just trying to build up the the one rep kind of strength here, and you know just blast that. Front squat with hands uh, and belt, 100 kilograms. So 100 kilograms, hands and belt. This does make it a little bit easier having your hands there. Look how much lower my elbows are. So definitely there, there's a difference going on there. 105 front squats with hands and belt, um, PB. Okay, so this is going to be a PB. My previous PB was 104 and a half. Now, let's see how well I do here. This is just only half a kilogram more. And complete fail. Complete fail. Failed that last one, but I was going to go down a weight to 102, but no, nah, I'm going to try it one more time. So still 105. Front squat. So yeah, totally thought, right, I'm, I'll go down a little bit, but I thought, bugger that, try again. Just because you failed the first time doesn't mean you won't get it the second time. Maybe it was just a shock or all that kind of stuff, or you had the wrong music or something. So I thought, here it goes, second time. Good track on, get the breathing right, get right down, depth-wise good, and fail. 
just wasn't able to get it up. It was re it's just like, damn it. But then I uh, went back down to 100 kilograms just to do uh, back squats again. Let's just see how my posture is. Like depth-wise, going right down, this kind of fisheye angle lens doesn't really show you kind of how ass to grass is going there. This is a hundred and something, 105, 105 here. Oh, one knee kind of slightly wiggled in a little bit there. 115. Oh, God, that one totally wobbles off the side there. Depth-wise, uh, was that deep enough? Hmm. Yeah, let's let's check that one again. Okay, so depth down, 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 down. Mm. Well, it's definitely below pa parallel, so I'm counting that. But uh, should I give myself that? Uh, well, that was 115, and I know I've done 117 throughout this last Wendler 531 uh, course. So, yeah, 115, I'm counting that, no problem. So then, uh, just kind of like, as my kind of warm down, as it were, back down to no hand uh, front squats, trying to figure out whether having hands open or having hands op closed like that makes any difference. Uh, but also just like weird kind of sex faces going on here as well. Just uh, start kind of winking. And head starts going to one side as well. So that was interesting. Just five reps on that, and I thought, right, let's see if I can do five reps on 65 here. 65 kilograms. Feels fine. Feels okay. Having to sort out my feet just before I start. One, but yeah, like that's it getting fast now. I would consider that to be fast. Always trying to keep the chin up while doing this as well. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So one PB, that's the no-handed front squats. There you go. Cheers. Bye-bye.